easy. Hello and welcome back. Just a quick video today on sign compression and noise related bases. I had a question in the comments um, from Sam MBK the other day asking how I made one of the bass sounds in the DLR video. So just to go through it quickly, um, it's a pretty simple one. I've used Serum in this case, you don't have to use Serum. It's just anything that can generate a pure sign and uh, then if you if you are using Ableton, uh, erosion is wicked. If if you haven't got erosion, you can also use a white noise sample that's high passed. So you don't need to buy any third party plugins or even use need to be using this door for, in order for this to work. So without further ado, what we're gonna kind of end up with or what we'd like to end up with is something like this. Yeah, and so let's go from the beginning and, and build up to that. So as I say, first of all, just a pure sign in Serum, nothing fancy, no plugins, no anything. Exactly how you'd expect. Um, after that, erosion, set on wide, oh, just turn the compressor off set on wide uh, because that's how I like it you don't have to have it in stereo um, or wide if you don't want to and then just fiddle around with uh, the frequency of the noise because it can make quite a big difference cool thing to automate as well actually because the more movement you have in your original sound when we start to modulate it later uh, the more movement or more interesting movement you'll have later on so yeah I only just thought of that um, and then yeah after that we're gonna have just a glue compressor compressing it a lot so the thresholds minus 30 you could go all the way down if you wanted to um, don't worry too much about the makeup gain just just bring it up so you've got a decent level again because 30 dBs of gain reduction is going to reduce your volume by quite a lot. Um, attack uh, is on relatively slow, well the slowest in this case, and then uh, ratio I've just got on four, uh, four to one. So the depending on what ratio, I mean you could effectively do this with a limiter as well and just push it up into a limiter. That's kind of in a way what this is acting like. Um, and then, yeah, so I first of all just resampled that as something completely flat. So I had a pure sign. Oh, we'll just do that again. I say pure sign, straight sign, I mean. And then afterwards, what you can do is high pass it with anything, just an EQ. Don't have to high pass it really high, just get, get rid of the sub. And then get a saturator. And start to really push it a bit more uh, you can try some of the different um, distortion types in there are wave shapes you can use another um, utility if you wanted spread it Ooh. even wider kind of what whatever you want to do to make it sound you know, uh, as much, however distorted you want the top or however much of a kind of mush you want the top to be. Uh, going mad, you can try putting different effects on it. Um, but in this case, we've just left it, left it simple. 
um, you can just put the um, high cut sorry high pass um, after the distortion as well because you might have generated extra harmonics and then just layer it use the same sub channel turn the erosion off and then resample it again with the sub layered back in like that so you can already see the waveform itself is quite a bit denser uh, you might end up having to chop this front one off because you can, can get pretty nasty click especially if you do uh, some pretty heavy distortion and then with this one uh, I just use uh, auto filters uh, and I use these a lot actually because they're really good um, for creating effectively random movement with notch filters I'll have two of those with the amount all the way up and then just on different rates. And then resample it or freeze and flatten it like that. And then just keep doing it until you end up with some sort of movement that you're you're happy with um, yeah now I in that case I've done quite fast movements my advice would actually be to start off with slow ones and then create faster ones within the initial slow movements if that makes sense so I haven't demonstrated that very well um, and then what I've done after that is I've just used camel fat because camel fat is wicked for making movement and distortion in the same thing and I've ended up with a kind of a midsection that sounds like this now I'm not actually using the uh, band pass filter which usually I would just a bit of tube distortion and the exciter cranked all the way up now I'm just using the spectrum to see how much um, of the sub I've got left because I can hear it but I can also hear that it's broken up quite a lot so just layer it back in with the same thing um, but without the camera fit on it and really I should high pass the distorted one to make sure I don't get too much phasing in the sub um, so whatever plugins you have for making or for generating movement use those um, you can also automate um, EQs automate the filters uh, inside one another I've only done it this way because it's quicker and when I work I like to work as fast as possible otherwise I get bored uh, especially when I'm writing music so auto filters for me are great because they'll generate movement which I wouldn't have necessarily thought of uh, so that's kind of cool as well so hopefully that made sense to some heads out there and it's helpful um, if you have any questions do drop them in the comments and please do give it a like and a subscribe thanks very much for watching peace